Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you a quick experiment that's gonna show you why you can add 40, 30 or 40, 50 to your paint and why that is interesting. So we're starting right now. Alright, for this experiment I'm just gonna use classic Createx opaque black. And I got three spoons here and they all have a really polished surface so that means that for paints it's very hard to adhere. And the same thing applies to lures. When you clear coated the lure and you're gonna paint in between layers or even on certain lures itself, the surface can be quite smooth and therefore paint adheres not so well on that. So I'm gonna show you the difference between uh, not using any additives or using an additive. So with these spoons, I am going to show you guys the difference between using 4050, 4030 or nothing at all. So first off, I am going to use black alone, nothing else. It's going to be the spoon with the cross on, that means it's only black, nothing else. Now I add a little bit of 4030 to my black. And last but not least, a little bit of black. And some 40, 50. I'm gonna have to reduce this a little bit. Also notice with the 40, 50 that it's way easier to coat this spoon in one go. While with the 40, 30 and without any additive, I had to do two coats and with 40, 50, I only have to lay down one thick coat. Now that's enough said about spraying and the coverage of these paints. We're gonna talk about adhesion now, which is the most important thing that 4050 and 4030 does. If you look at the paint which has nothing mixed with it, I can just, you see, I can just scrape the paint off very, very easily. And this is, I'm barely using any pressure. You see how easy that goes. That paint comes off very, very quickly and very easily. Now, if we try the same thing on the 4030, you can see that this is way more resistant. A little bit came off here, but it has a lot more scratch resistant. We're getting through eventually but it withstands a lot more than the paint without anything. And here is our 40, 50. And here is the same thing. I can go over this and most of the paint stays on there. I am scratching the surface as you can see, but most of the paint is not moving anywhere. And I'm applying same pressure here. I'm scratching that paint you can see the scratches in the light, but the paint stays on there. Now I can even take something sharper, like this blade. And if you can see here, the paint, it comes off just like that. No problem at all. 40, 30. I have to apply a little bit more pressure so this paint is staying on much much better it's a really big difference as you can see it's not coming off that easily and for the 4050 is the same it is not coming off that easily here and there some areas it starts to loosen up a little bit But overall, the adhesion of the 4030 and the 4050 is way better than the paint without anything mixed in it. Now, why is it so important that your paint adheres well, especially in the first layers of lure painting? That is because when you start lure painting and you're going to apply stencils or something, you might have a chance to scratch away some paint. If your paint adheres better, you're going to have less problems with that. But that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is when you're starting to clear coat your lure, your clear coat is actually going to adhere to your paint because your paint is going to layer a film 
especially if you're doing a few colors and you did a few layers you actually lay layer down a film over that lure so that clear coat is actually not gonna adhere to your lure itself but it's gonna adhere to the paint that you layered on top of that lure so if you want more durability if you want a more durable lure then you have to make sure that your paint adheres much better because that clear coat is gonna is gonna bite itself onto that paint it's not gonna touch the lure itself because that paint that film is gonna be in between your clear coat and your lure and that is why chipping often occurs that is when your paint didn't adhere very well and that clear coat starts to chip away it really comes off very easily because if you have a crack or a damaged clear coat and that paint is adhering that little piece of damaged clear coat is going to stay on there because it's still stuck but if that paint isn't stuck that's gonna chip off right away and that's the big difference so to make a quick conclusion here guys that is that Paints combined with 40-30 and 40-50, they do adhere much better. Uh, there is not a real difference between uh, adhesion strength of the two. It's only that I find that the 40-50 sprays a little bit easier because it's a little bit thicker and it just layers down much smoother than the 40-30. While the paint that has nothing in it, I can just scratch it off with my fingernail as you can see. It has no adhesion at all. So you can imagine if you put a clear coat on this kind of paint, it's gonna chip eventually and that's the reason why these things happen it's because your paint didn't adhere as well while for the 4030 and the 4050 I can go over this with my fingernail and it doesn't come off which is a very big difference also when you add 4050 or 4030 to a transparent paint you're gonna make that paint more transparent that's also a very interesting thing to play with I use it a lot when I'm doing uh, subtle shading or very tiny details uh, when I'm trying to change the color from one to another but just very subtly then it's very good to use a transparent paint or even a candy and just add a little bit extra 4050 or 4030 to make it even more transparent another thing you can do is add 4050 or 4030 to your pearlescent paints or metallics this way you're gonna disperse those metallic or pearl pigments even more and if you're trying to subtly dust it onto your lure uh, by mixing that with a transparent medium like 4030 or 4050 it's gonna be easier to get that very subtle glittery or uh, pearlescent effect on there so guys I hope you learned something from this quick experiment if you got any questions about 4030 or 4050 let me know in the comments down below and as well if you got any other questions about any kind of paint let me know I will leave a link in the description below, this will guide you to my webshop and in this way if you buy anything you are supporting me and my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time, bye bye.